Well, I guess we're going back to the initial logo. On Thursday, Apple CEO Tim Cook came out, acknowledging publicly for the first time that he's gay. After that, Pope Francis quickly issued an order to collect all the iPads and iPhones in the Vatican and burn them at the stake. Moscow announced that it had received an invitation from France to take delivery of the first Mistral helicopter aircraft carrier in November. French President François Hollande quickly denied that and said, I say it's a lie, and I'm a man you can trust. Just ask my former girlfriends. In an attempt to rekindle tourism, the Egyptian tourism minister decided to use the help of Jesus, who in his words was the first tourist in Egypt. Foreigners are now invited to follow in his exact footsteps, take a trip through the lonely desert, visit a sacred cave, and shop at a holy 10-story shopping mall. A California judge has dismissed the former Panamanian dictator Manuel Noriega's lawsuit against the creators of Call of Duty, who used his name and face in the game. Noriega was furious and promised to destroy the video game franchise with a new addictive board game he created in prison. South Korean intelligence reported that Kim Jong-un has ordered 10 senior officials to be executed for watching South Korean soap operas. Hearing that, Kim immediately called the foreign press, probably to deny the incident, but it was really hard to understand him over the screaming and the gunfire. And that was the week in color. See you all next time.